In this video, I'm going to talk about affordable foods that will help you lose weight and reverse insulin resistance. Let's get started. On the top of my list is a semi-grain called quinoa, which takes 10 minutes to make. Literally, you can open a can of veggie broth and while it's boiling, rinse your quinoa. After it comes to the boil, throw in your quinoa and let it simmer for about 10 minutes or less until you see it fall apart and has this curly string-like texture. It is a wonderful whole food fiber, phytonutrient rich, has complete protein, and will fill you up and crowd out the processed high fat junk food that you crave. Throw in some spices and vegetables if you want to add more flavor and eat it in place of white rice. A typical bag of quinoa serves eight and is $4. Now, if you want more protein, my favorite is tofu. It is my go-to fast protein. You can literally eat it straight from the box. You can stir fry it on low heat, add it to your favorite salads or soups, and use it really to replace any meat, and it will save you a ton of money. This box can serve two to four people and is less than $2. It will just suck up any sauce you put on it it is essentially flavorless. You can crumble it, cube it, slice or grate it. It's so versatile, it's nutritious. It is a bean and it's low fat. It will help you reverse insulin resistance, keep your sugars low and will help you lose weight. In addition, it is full of phytonutrients that are protective against DNA damage. Populations who eat tofu, especially early as young children, have less breast cancer. And I recommend soy products and tofu to postmenopausal women going through the change to decrease their symptoms. I prefer organic because they have less chemicals like pesticide. Now I'm sure you've tried, as I, many ways to lose weight by exercising more, eating less food, but found it too hard to do and quit. And that's the difference between the list that I'm giving you and pre-made processed foods in the store. Now, if you eat from the list, you will be full, nourished, feel better, get healthier, and as a side benefit, you'll lose weight without compromising your health. Pre-made packaged foods, no matter what they're labeled with, are designed to make you fail. You really can't eat just one. If you succeeded, they would be out of business. So no restaurant, coffee shop, or supermarket wants you to eat less food. And when you're at the supermarket, buy canned beans, like garbanzo beans. These are easy to eat and it's delicious as a dressing or sauce. Cultures who eat more beans simply live longer and healthier. And it's also proven to help you lose weight, reduce inflammation, control your blood sugar, and reverse insulin resistance. There's actually what is known as a post-bean effect. That means that this bean continues to reduce your blood sugar levels the day after eating those beans. And sometimes you can get canned beans for like a dollar a can. Now I can't finish a can in a meal by myself because it is just so filling. I like sometimes to make it into hummus. And if you can rinse a can of garbanzo bean, throw in a clove of garlic, squeeze a little bit of lemon, sprinkle generous amounts of onion, garlic powder, and roasted sesame seeds, or whatever nuts or seeds you have um, in your cupboard, and then blend it together. I bet you'll be surprised at how creamy and delicious this dip tastes. Now, it will taste even better with a tiny bit of olive oil, but if you're trying to lose weight, I would really minimize eating any oil. Also, try to add spices instead of sodium to season your food. Um, experiment, you know, blend it with a bell pepper, some tomatoes, jalapenos, and cilantro. It's really delicious. Now, all of this food is really making me hungry and I can't concentrate when I'm hungry. So I tend to eat grab and go foods and those are fruits. Fruits tie me over and literally squash, no pun intended, my cravings for junk food. Fruit will give you fiber. It's packed with phytonutrients, vitamins and minerals and it gives you a steady stream of energy, avoiding those high sugar spikes and insulin peaks. I tell diabetics to eat whole fruit all the time, and anyone who tells you otherwise 
um, don't really understand the biochemistry of health and nutrition. And you know, it's actually counterintuitive. And you would think that because fruit is full of sugar and carbohydrates that it's not good for you. But that's only fruit that's processed. Unprocessed foods means you haven't cooked it, blended it, or juiced it is really very good for your health because most of that carbohydrate is not digestible. It's actually made out of fiber and it traps in the sugar, the very little sugar that's in the fruit to avoid these high spikes that you get from cereals, breads, cakes, cookies, crackers, candies, and other processed carbohydrates. So eating whole fruit actually will regulate your blood sugars, reduce insulin resistance, and make you healthier. And really the trick is not to process the fiber. So people confuse the symptoms of type 2 diabetes, which is carbohydrate intolerance, with the cause of type 2 diabetes, which is the accumulation of fat in your liver and your muscles that is causing the insulin resistance. The easiest way to accumulate fat is to eat it. When you eat excessive fat or excessive calories, you're basically gunking up your metabolism. Fatty foods that are found in processed carbohydrate junk or animal products like cheese and butter or chicken, even the leanest chicken breast cooked in water has over 20% fat. Fruit, on the other hand, is usually low in fat, high in fiber, and has very few calories with the exception of avocados. Eat your fruit whole to allow your body to digest it, to slowly release the nutrients so an apple smoothie is not so healthy, but a whole apple is perfect to protect your metabolism. There are literally people called fruitarians who only eat fruit. I don't recommend that kind of diet because it's not well balanced. But start every meal with a fruit. It's super easy, tasty, and will help you control your weight and inflammation. Sure, there are some fruits that have more health benefits, but you know, don't worry about that when you're just beginning your diet. Just eat your favorite fruits fresh. Any fruit eaten in its original form will improve your metabolism, fill you up, and help you lose weight and crowd out the junk food. Avoid adding sugar or salt to fruit. So avoid apple pies and dried cranberries and those sauces that people put on fruit. Fruits are just super cheap and super easy. And really for a quarter of banana, you can like enjoy that all day long. You can't even buy candy for a quarter these days. Honestly, any diet that helps you cut out processed food will help you lose weight. Even the ketogenic diet and the paleo diet or the Atkin diets will help you lose some weight. But if you're losing the wrong kind of weight, it will lead you to a path of disease and death. And that's what the ketogenic diet and the Atkin diet has proven to do. Plus, it's really hard to eat like that for a prolonged period of time. This is because you are wired to seek carbohydrate for energy, but eating the wrong carbohydrates will give you disease. So modern foods are highly processed chemical carbohydrate additives and not natural, and hence it doesn't add to your health. Whereas when you keep your foods natural and whole, eaten unprocessed or minimally processed, then that's healthy to eat. And this is why the potato is an excellent source of carbohydrate and protein. And guess what? Eating boiled potatoes have proven to help people lose weight unless you're processing it and adding a ton of fat. Fat impairs how you process carbohydrates, especially in diabetics. So a deep fried potato or a buttered potato is not good for your waistline or your metabolism, but a boiled potato with spices is delicious and will be super satisfying to your palate. If you eat a boiled potato before you eat less healthy foods like processed breads and animal products, you will simply crowd out those less healthy foods. And here's another trick. You can reduce a potato's glycemic load by refrigerating it overnight and will have less of an impact on your blood sugar levels. By the way, potatoes are super cheap. I bought 21 raw potatoes for 99 cents. Now, if you prefer a sweeter carb, try kabocha squash. This Peruvian squash has a creamy carbohydrate sweet texture, kind of like a sweet potato. It's also full of nutrients like beta carotene that gives you that deep orange color to help your immunity, your skin, and improve your vision. Let me warn you, kabocha squashes are hard to cut. 
So I actually don't bother to cut them. I basically stab it with a fork all around the squash and stick it in the microwave for about 10 minutes covered. It is one of our favorite, easiest dishes to eat because it comes out so sweet and creamy. Another quick, nutritious, filling and weight reducing ingredient is lentils. In 15 minutes, you will have a dish rich in protein, in fiber, and it costs pennies. You can buy a pound of lentils for less than $1.50 and it will last several meals. Cook it like rice and season it like a soup or, or as a meat. Um, put lentils in your spaghetti or curry sauce and you will add fiber, protein, and powerful phytonutrients that get you healthy to reduce your risk of cancers, lose weight, and live longer. And of course, if you're into losing weight, living longer, and increasing your brain power, you gotta eat more plants, especially leafy greens. Eat your greens first before any snacks or meals. You can eat it like fresh salads, or you can blend your greens and drink it like a soup. Dark greens are a great source of calcium, potassium, iron, and vitamin K. If you choose to eat salad, eat it with a vinaigrette dressing because vinegar has been shown to reduce blood sugar levels by stimulating an enzyme called cyclic AMP. And this is why Italians dip their bread in balsamic vinegar. Now, never drink vinegar because it will burn your esophagus. I recommend two teaspoons of vinegar with each meal to help you lose weight. And lastly, a no prep thickener, flavor enhancer, and packed with nutrition is called Nutritional Yeast. It looks like golden fish flakes, but has a cheesy taste to it. It's packed with B vitamins, beta glucans. It will enhance your immune system. It's been shown to reduce respiratory infections in athletes. And all you need is two teaspoons a day, at the minimum, to achieve weight loss. Now, people with Crohn's disease or hydratinitis superativa should really avoid nutritional yeast. Join me in my next video to learn more about optimizing your health.